If you live in Victoria, you may have seen a rather sleek looking bus driving around the city. It is the first of its kind, and it's the greenest bus on the road anywhere in the world. It is a hybrid electric fuel cell bus being tested around the capital region until the end of the month. And if BC Transit likes it, this may be the bus of the future. With the push of a red button, we're off on the bus of the future. The engine is so quiet, you'd hardly know it's running. And it has many automatic features. So it's stopping on its own. Right, watch. A transit driver for 42 years, Luis Fernandez, says it's a stress-free ride. Smart bus. <laughs> Almost can do away with me. No. <laughs> this smart bus uses smart green technology. It's a hydrogen hybrid bus built by Proterra, a Colorado company. This is a battery-powered bus that has a range-extending system, which is a hydrogen fuel cell. A hydrogen fuel cell takes hydrogen and converts that to electricity to recharge the batteries. The bus is in Victoria this month for testing. If BC Transit likes it, it could become part of the regular fleet. One of the things that Transit we've always been proud of is our history. First to bring in the low floors, first to bring in the hybrids. We've got the largest hydrogen fleet. We'd like to work with Proterra on, on you know, looking at something over the next couple of years and bring in a bus like this here. There are a lot of attractive features. Besides using clean electric power, it's lighter, quieter, and more aerodynamic than the current buses. The technology is so clean that the only exhaust you'll see on this bus is a few drops of water. But is it cost effective? In order for this to become commercially viable in the future for us to invest in, the price will have to come down. The sticker price of a new diesel bus, $500,000. This prototype, $1 million. As for operating costs... It's uh, you know, half the price of what, you know, what we've looked at from diesel buses. So it's been, from a fuel economy, fuel efficiency point of view, it's been outstanding. And also it's using green technology. The cost may come down in the future, but the costs of the future are already here. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.